another e-bike review coming at you live right here right now from ninja compound okay so these are be cool e-bikes be cool e-bike and i don't really remember much about them they were sending them to me and here they are so let's just get them out of the box and then we'll talk specs and we'll talk appearance and we'll talk about all that you guys know how i do these these are not reviews these are not in-depth reviews. These are test videos. I'm just gonna max out these bad boys and just see what they can do. I'm a le like legit full throttle. The whole way, no pedaling. This is an electric bike. You don't pedal these things. They only have pedals on them so the cops don't pull you off. <laughs> anyway, so let's get them out of the box. We'll talk specs and everything after that. mark these guys down for quality control uh there were like I, i've been trying to be patient doing like putting these together but there were uh, several cross-threaded bolts and this stupid thing is stuck on here like, i'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt but this is pretty sloppy quality control negative one point negative one point These bikes apparently are bring your own bolts. <laughs> These bolts on both bikes, this one for the headlight, was they were both missing. So I don't know what, I checked the boxes, I checked the trash can, I checked every little thing that came in the box and there were no bolts for this headlight mount here. I had a universal bolt kit, so that's not a huge deal. I'm just gonna have to put this in here and grind it off. But unboxing is one thing. I mean, if it performs really well, I mean, that's one thing. I'm just subtracting points overall for this section. Man, these batteries are so hard to get in. We finally got these set up, but look at this. Come over here, look at this. I turn it on. First thing I notice is it says error 08. <laughs> so let's just see if the motor even works. Nope. <laughs> yeah, so it's not looking too hot for be cool e-bikes right now. Hey, error eight, why? What is error eight? Error code eight, throttle problem. I literally did every step as it was supposed to. So it looks like there's a kill switch. It says error two now, so we'll have to check into that. So that's a throttle kill switch. So it says error eight when it's killed. I just noticed, I took it up and down the street and pedal assist was working just fine. The throttle wasn't working at all. And I noticed a big red button there. And it looks like that's a throttle kill, so it, it, this doesn't work. Okay, so there's that. <laughs> we may be able to take these on rides tonight. Error two went away. How about that? <laughs> kill switch turned on error two only. It's not working still though. All right, nothing's working on this one. This brake doesn't even work either. <laughs> it's so poorly adjusted, it doesn't even bite. That's hilarious. It says error eight, and I turned that off. Activate the throttle, says error two, but nothing works. Pedal assist doesn't work, throttle doesn't work. Like, I really want to like these bikes. I really do. They're very practical. They've got cool things like turn signals, brake lights, headlight. Like, they're very practical bikes, and they're actually spec pretty well for a good price. This is the Be Cool Explorer and Be Cool Adventurer, but they're the same drivetrain, basically. Uh, same battery pack, I think even the same motor as well. Um, so maybe I'll just take that one out, and then we'll kind of assume what this one will do based on that one's performance. This is the Be Cool Explorer, and this is definitely one of the more practical ones. It's not supposed to be stylish. It's not supposed to have any purpose except, you know, practical use. You got a cargo rack on the back. This is more of definitely more of a commuter kind of bike. So let's get a top speed. 
it looks like it's limited it kind of feels like it's limited at 25 miles per hour but then again it gets up to 25 miles per hour fairly slowly so it could just be the top speed but anyway 25 miles per hour is not awful for just a normal e-bike that's pretty normal for most e-bikes these days it's got the standard display like most other you know chinese sourced e-bikes like this and overall it's good ride quality for sure i mean suspension front suspension and rear suspension definitely does its job it and so definitely comfortable in that regard seating position is definitely comfortable as well oh no i'm gonna blow through a stop sign oh no look nobody cares definitely feels nice 25 miles per hour not too bad now i if i remember correctly these are going for about 1300 to 1600 i can't remember i'll just throw up the price on the screen right now really quick but but for the price from what i remember it's it's not an awful price for the specs you're getting so yeah that's pretty much what it's like to ride the be cool explorer it's not any different than a lot of the other stuff i've ridden but i mean it's nice it's nice all right let's go on the official ride Next, give it to you. so that's the be cool e-bikes um very practical bikes i wish the other one worked so i could have tested that one as well now we went on a short ride i got 11.3 miles on the odometer right now it still says it's at a full charge so i'm gonna have to go on another ride so i'll let you guys know the actual final mileage but very practical bikes very comfortable bikes the suspension does a great job the tires do a great job just absorbing small bumps and whatnot and it's got the brake light and turn signals it's got a horn so definitely check them out if you're looking for a more practical one doing the glamour shots i found the reason this brake doesn't work. Looks like there's a fluid leak here. Okay, error code two, brake. That would, uh, that's probably why that one says error code two. The orange one doesn't have it and both the brakes work. All right, I got in contact with Be Cool E-Bikes and uh, they said the error code two is actually because the package gets damaged during shipping and the brake gets pressed and that's, I mean, that's why it, broke <laughs> but air code 2 he said is fixed by pulling this lever back until I hear a click and I was kind of curious why the brake light stayed on and that would actually do it so let's turn it on you guys can see it's gonna pop up air code 2 let's see if it fixes it nope maybe it's not that one that's broken let's try this one Hey! Look, this brake works fine. This one got damaged too. I decided to take this bike out on another extended test ride just to kill it all the way. And I was actually pleasantly surprised. So on one charge, we actually went about 31 miles. Now this is kind of deceiving because that is sitting voltage. When I'm actually on the throttle, it goes down to zero bars. Um, so I'm gonna call it dead here. It was getting pretty dang sluggish, so I don't want to completely kill it. 31 freaking miles, so that is not bad at all. So I was actually pleasantly surprised for the price. I think these are going for 1600 right now. It's a 48 volt, 750 watt motor, and uh, does about 25 miles per hour almost the entire way. It was starting to get down closer to 20 miles per hour near the end, but 31 miles for $1,600, <laughs> full suspension, and all that. It's fairly specced out for a decent-ish price. I know it's still a lot of money to just blow, but pretty pretty well specced out bike. Now I will say this thing is riddled with a couple quality control issues. Just first from the packaging, even the even Be Cool bikes, the seller, they know that packaging is a huge quality control thing. It doesn't seem like they're doing a whole lot to fix it. One thing that drove me particularly crazy was every now and then the throttle will randomly cut out especially i noticed at low speeds and especially when you're taking turns from low speeds um, it would just randomly cut out and you couldn't get the throttle back for a couple seconds now it's not because i hit the throttle cutoff switch which is another issue in itself it's right here so when you're making turns and stuff and you and you come back to grab the handlebar you'll you'll cut off the throttle randomly so that's super annoying too the cutouts at low speeds were with was really the thing that concerned me a little bit. Because every now and then I'd be crossing streets and I was, you know, trying to beat traffic. I'm in a city and I was depending on the throttle to launch me a little bit faster right off the bat and it wasn't there sometimes. And just the fact that when you push the, the throttle cutoff, it throws an error code. It just feels a little cheap to me. I feel like there should have been some way to program the computer just not to throw an error code when you push a physical button that has a purpose, <laughs> you know? But I mean, overall, not a bad bike at all. Very practical, it, you know, surprising range. But last night, I did fix it. The brake 
Again, common issue from shipping. I didn't even tell them what was wrong. They sent me immediately. Was it error code two? Oh, just, just pop the brake back. It, you know, it gets damaged in shipping like every time. So I feel like they're, I feel like maybe just put something around it in every package. You know, so it's a common issue that they haven't addressed yet. So, so anyway, the black bike is fixed. Only one brake works. The brake I had to pop back that was damaged in shipping was actually the one that works. The other one, all the fluid drained out of it. It doesn't even, you can't even pull it. So, but it drives now. So I'm gonna go give it a test. I'll just kind of take it out. I'm, just, I'm gonna assume it's the same powertrain. I'm just gonna assume it's the exact same. Uh, mileage and, and whatnot. It's basically the exact same setup. The frame is just a little bit different. So I'm gonna go give it a ride and I'll let you guys know if it's any different. All right, just took that one out for a ride as well and they are legitimately the exact same bike. I mean, they have the exact same components. The only difference is that that frame goes straight back. That one kind of, <laughs> yeah. Overall for the price in the $1,000 to $2,000 range, these are fairly specced out. The components are about what you'd imagine for the price range. Pretty comfortable bikes to ride. Definitely more practical than a lot of the other bikes out there the only thing i have against these bikes is they are riddled with quality control issues and it seems like the seller's not really addressing them too much but to their benefit both bikes did end up working <laughs> for the video luckily but you guys kind of get it there's just quality control issues here that don't seem like they are being addressed throttle issues on that one i'm sure it's pretty much the same situation with this one but again for the price if you don't mind working out the small things yourself I think these aren't a bad deal for what you get. 31 miles of range is probably one of the more impressive numbers that I have seen on an e-bike. I went a little bit off-road with these. It wasn't anything abnormal that you wouldn't expect. I mean, it was comfortable. Suspension picks up all the bumps. Going over hills and climbing up slopes and stuff, these do definitely do not specialize in. <laughs> Uh, you can definitely feel them working a little harder up hills, but for a commuter bike, definitely what these were geared for. Definitely not bad all around. So yeah, there you guys have it. Be cool e-bikes. See you next time.